So one of the reasons that we, tell, uh, uh, that we decided to have high-resolution uh, pixels and lower-resolution color was based on the way the human eye works. So, you know, human vision can resolve to much finer detail brightness, luminance, if you like, than we can resolve color. And the PAL TV system took advantage of that so that the, the bandwidth of the luminance signal was three or four times greater than the bandwidth of the chrominance signal. And we also knew at that time that the Oracle and CFAX Teletext standards also followed a similar pattern. They set color per character, but of course you could address individual pixels. So that was, if you like, the background and, and the reasoning behind choosing high resolution pixels, but lower resolution color. Now, was this a compromise? <laughs> Yes, of course it's a compromise. Was it a controversial compromise? Well, you know, people today, 40 years later, are still debating, was this the right decision? We've got the colour clash. Why did you do that? So why did we make that compromise? We had to meet a price point. We could have gone for hardware sprites. You know, the chips were available. We could have put special chips and additional memory in so that we could have multicoloured sprites moving invisibly across a background without any degradation of colour. We could have gone for something that uh, approximates to much later computer standards where every single pixel on the screen is, is, has its own color palette. But again, think of the additional memory that's needed. Think of the additional chips that would be needed to, you know, for all the address mapping, all of the video buffering. Again, we needed to meet a price point. So that was the compromise. 